All right, we back testing shit. I will see that this one goes up private. And let's just do some testing. So, uh, yeah, middle of the ocean. Nomad limits, because I don't think we have those. 5,000 meters apart. No extra fancy rules. Let's just grab one of these ships. Uh, you said something about the Ritter. I don't have the Ritter, so... Can't test it. What we can test is, for example, the Na, which is around 400k against... And I know this is not a fair fight in terms of cost. One Steinburg. See how this goes. And yeah, there's the Steinburg spamming shields. There's the Na counter spamming shields. What does the Na fire? Ah, it is Sap HE because those don't look like they're very high caliber. And here's the super calf fin step Savo shell that uh, Steinbock spams. And I say spams for a reason, because it definitely does. Not sure, does the Na have its underside improved? That's like probably its biggest weakness, or was when I last saw it. We'll see. The Steinbock does also bring some torpedoes, after all. But most importantly, it just eats armor. It it loves to do that. There's some incendiary secondary, so we'd have to research that, too. This is not the starter ship. Look at all those blocks. But it is a ship we could use, if we have the tech. So, uh, like, it targets below water cluster blocks, by the way, so, and I've set it to swap every 10 seconds, so it doesn't waste as much time shooting empty areas, which it likes to do. I don't know why, it just loves to do that. Although I think in this case it's actually not shooting an entirely empty area. I see heavy armor coming to show. Yeah, there's engine there. That's what the cluster aim point is going for. Probably. And yeah, it, anything with armor, this, this Steinbuck just eats. <clears throat> it is taking damage in return. Let's take a look. Actually, that looks like a May gun that took damage there. Oh, well. At least something's definitely taken some beatings here. How deep does this hole go? Do you have rail draw on that gear? You gotta tell me soon. Uh, yeah, this, this gun took damage. However, <laughs> ejectors for the win. And now that the Na is broadsiding, its side armor just ain't holding. It just is not holding up. The not the Steinbock just really has to get the right targeting, and that's GG's. Oh yeah, it's hitting the engine again. Still, there's some torpedoes, and yeah, I see there is some extra armor. Steinbock down to 90. The Na is... Well, it's not winning, but it is down on cost, after all. I think it lost this turret. Like, entirely. Yeah, it did. Kind of got sniped, I guess. It's also sinking because... Oh, props. I guess those got removed and the engine got... Swiss cheese entirely. 
so no wonder this thing's dropping like a stone. Which, oh yeah, there it goes. Below 80% sinking. And that's what the Steinbuch does. It is... A DPM machine. It is not very tanky. Obviously. Like... Ouch. Big ouch. I don't think there's nothing in the middle there. This is just all... Mostly empty. Except for, like, secondary guns. Guess the engine got clipped too. Which happens a lot. But I don't need my engine for these guns. Which is a big benefit of this ship. But uh, yeah, that's that's the NAR. There's not much armoring against this sort of shell, to be honest. You're better off swarming it with little to no armor. There is... oh yeah, this, this thing can go. I don't need this anymore. There's also... I am on... yeah. I wanted to replay something in this team. Do we test the Kanzler? Oh, yes, we do. Again, not a very fair fight cost-wise, but we can't always expect our enemies to fight fair either. Oh, the Kanzler's the one with turrets everywhere. So that'll be fun. What shells is this thing using? I'm curious. What are the front turrets? They are... This is just an AGE stick. Okay. That's actually pretty decent against the uh, Steinberg. I am not gonna lie. Okay, so what are those? It's, again, Sap AG. I fear that shell type, to be honest. It definitely kills that ship. A lot of things kill that ship. Where is it aiming? It is probably missing right now. Yeah. Yeah, I have auto detect set to 0 0.5 because that seems like a reasonable amount. Okay. Targets changed. It is now removing the belt armor over there. It absolutely is removing the belt armor. Holy shit. Now it's just missing. Oh, never mind. It's turning that area into a tunnel of sorts. It's also sniping the, the up props. Which, again, this thing does. It hits below water like nothing else. Let's see. The Kaiser is doing. Oh, the Kanzler is doing damage. Kaiser would have been. Uh, yeah, based. Any like high caliber APAG that just one shots the guns on this ship though is just going to absolutely obliterate it in combat. Because that's like the whole thing of this ship it's guns. It is the living incarnation of guns. And what are you blowing up back there? Is it like ammo I have back there? Probably, to be honest. But oh well, that's just a stern. The stern I do not care about. Boy, you sniped the Baron. <coughs> How's the Kaiser doing? It still has... Almost all turrets. Oh, it doesn't have an AI though. So that's the power of the Steinbook. It just snipes shit like an AI. Because it's just so intuitive to put shit below water and then... Well. This is a block cluster. That ship loves those. But that ship loves 1v1, so that's... Kind of what it does. We could try the Kanzler against like a swarm of smaller ships. I've changed the targeting on the Z5 since yesterday too, so maybe that. 
is a bit more fair of a cost fight, so let's see what happens. See what the Z5s will do. Or if they just ram each other again. Uh, they actually turn. Oh yeah, I should probably set their turning or oh, well approach angle properly as well. Like 45 degrees is probably not a good idea, especially if I want to keep any of those torpedoes alive. But the Kanzler is not breaking away as much as I expected it to. Initially at least. But yeah, it's absolutely yeah, there you go. There's two turrets out. Now it's breaking ahead. If it now changes ship target, yeah, see? Now it's gonna win. It's in it to win it. Yeah, there goes the torpedo launcher. So yeah, the Z5s are glass cannons like nothing else. This one got torpedoes in the water, actually. How did it do that? Oh well. Where are the fishies? They're here. I have my doubts about those hitting, but they are there. And since the Zs do actually share detection data, they should be able to shoot if they have guns. Oh, the torpedoes might actually reach. They do. It's not like they did a lot of damage because they're mediums and nothing like truly lethal. But they did reach. And the torpedo launch I see the torpedo launcher on deck still. If there's still ammo on that ship, it might get more torps in. Oh there they come. They are actually real. But gear armored the underside since last time, so they don't quite nuke it as bad. Targeting kind of everywhere. Another set of torpedoes coming. Although I think that just killed the launcher. And yeah, the Kanzler is definitely the winning candidate in this fight. There's no way the Z5s take it out. Especially like that one is not even combat capable anymore. It's just a distraction. Which I guess is a decent thing still to have. That one does have torpedo launchers. So maybe, maybe it'll top stuff. And that one in the back, actually doing kind of fine. It's lost the turret. It's got some torpedoes in the water. It's there as a top launcher too. That one over there also got torpedoes off. But the Kanzler is so far ahead though. And it's not going for the bait anymore. So, yeah. Highly unlikely the Zets win this. Where's the torpedo spam? Oh, this one's just unguided. Nobody expects the unguided torpedo. There was apparently a set of torpedoes around here, but I think it, they ran out, so GG's. That Z is charging. It's on a mission. Let's deploy the sea mine here. Hold up. Let them cook? Aw. That would've been kinda funny though. That one hit. Or rather, if the Kanzler ran into that one, I should say. Because 
wouldn't have been a hit. That didn't even do anything. But yeah, this is where the Kanzler definitely shines. Very lightly armored vehicles like this. Definitely doing a great job at killing those. And it's very survivable against them too. Compared to something like the North of which I'm not gonna lie, it is not that survivable. It's not just beating basically dead hulls, so let's just swap to something else. Um, what should we do? I don't know. Na versus Kanzler? That seems like a silly idea. But Kanzler against Elster? Like, let's just do five of these. Then add like an ice vogel or two to serve as distraction or something. Spawn them all at 100 meters altitude. And ready, set, go. See if the Kanzler can fight this. <coughs> Which, especially this sort of lineup, the Nordhoff wouldn't probably, or the Steinberg. I keep confusing the two because they both have five turrets and they look similar. I think the Elsters are colliding with each other midair. That's probably something that needs fixing. Or they're just getting, never mind, they're just getting their ass clapped. This one just got bodied. Yeah. This one just lost a wing. Damn, they stable like that. It got clapped. Yeah, that's the engine dog. But that's a torpedo. In the water. Where is that going? Do you have no guidance gear? I mean, I guess. Apparently. That looks like a top hit. Ice Vogel dropping its frag spam, which killed a whole like five blocks. The Ice Vogels are not worth the material cost. And yeah, the Kanzler emerges victorious against that. <coughs> Definitely. Um, let's just... Actually, I'm kind of curious because it's more in the cost range of the counselor. Let's just throw a proct off at it. The cramps are absolutely dog shit, but maybe? And as we all know, the first set of cram shells cannot hit. It is legally forbidden to hit. We, we acknowledge the rules. We play by them. And the second set of cram shells also misses. Here comes the third. Maybe that's somewhat aimed. Look, it actually clipped like five blocks. Insane. The Proctor is comparatively... Why do they fuse so early? I mean, yeah, I have time to fuse on these because they're kind of meant to hit even if they miss, but they fuse way too early. These didn't. And the Brockdorf doesn't have that bad detection. 
It doesn't have god level detection either, but... That's it. That's one hell of a hit. What the fuck? Where did that go through? Was that just... Yeah, so that's cram. So there's like kind of ventured through here, exploded and killed the turret. Casual cram moment. So once you get kind of close with the Brockdorf, it starts... Well, that was not good. But it starts doing damage once you get kind of close. Here we go, next set of shells. They hit the superstructure. They hate that shit, apparently. Cannot have a superstructure. Also sandblasters on that ship. Rip at least one of those traps. Rip that turret in return. So many cramps just not being in game anymore. How did the cram turrets die? I see them firing blinds. Did they just did their neck chopped somewhere? Oh uh, yeah, you hate to see it. You hate to see that. And huh. Okay, so it isn't this spot up here, at least. Not in that one, at least. You, uh, you're around here. That's where your neck got cut. Just below the turret cap. Who would have thought? Then it's probably a similar deal for you, yeah? No, it's actually down here. Huh. Exploded from behind, probably. So cram has potential, if it works properly, which, right now, why are you running? Are you like French? Do I need to change your name to Le Brock or whatever? Well, there's some more crams, hooray. Honestly surprised that didn't just detonate the turret again, because they hit a similar spot. That one just missed. Yes, yeah, so and the Brockdorf's main goal is probably to be just a distraction for the real damage dealers at this rate, because it is not one of those damage dealers. It's like the occasional Low pen through like all your armor detonates and kills a turret. But that's like so situational, it's not reliable at all. Although that one just mic the fucked the AI. Okay, so yeah, that fucked the AI. Cool. Situational as it may be, it works. One lucky hit. Stupid ass shit. It is surprisingly tanky for such a narrow vehicle, so that's what I will give to it. Because there's just a whole lot of nothing. But it. I mean, it did just beat a ship that's 100k more expensive, but I think. This battle is honestly, there's a good chance the Kanzler wins this battle too. It's just all up to where the Brockdorf shells land. Let's do Brockdorf against Narr because gotta have that one too, right? Brockdorf against Nordorf or Steinburg should also be interesting. I think the Brockdorf pens the turret caps and perhaps even the turret welds. So it might have a chance. Are these... Are these rail draw? I am not entirely certain. I think they may not be actually rail. They may actually not be rail. Nope. I don't think they are. I don't see rail. They may just not be. Rail. Whatever. Go 
blocked off. Here comes the random ass cramshaw that will definitely not hit. Sec that set of cram shots made the Nar DPS is absolutely killing though. Uh, well, it did hit something. Is one of the back tires just immediately out of order? I only see one shell coming from the back guns. So the Nar may actually be winning. Yeah, it took a cram shot to the t basically to the turret caps and didn't care much. Let's see where these go. Yeah, that's once again just cram random deck pen. Well, let's look at the Brockdorf because it is much more damaged. And yeah, one turret's just fucked out the bat. <laughs> Most of the damage seems to be focused around the sentry and superstructure, actually. That's where a lot of the hits seem to be. Which honestly is fine because there's nothing in there apart from like some detection. Uh, is that? Yeah, that is a turret. The front trio of guns is going two for two on the turret kills. And then that thing is just ass. Oh, that turret doesn't have the angle right now. But little does it know. Oh, it survived that. I see turret parts though. Where did those come from? Oh. Okay. Cool. Oh, hey, search protectors. Hope you know about those gear. If not, well, you know about them now. You have been informed. Oh. The Drogdorf is still behind in health, by the way. And that's just two of the cramps firing. So I think that first one might have taken damage. And the back cram. Actually kinda coming in clutch. Oh my god, it killed the target. I have called you bad for no reason, back cram. You are good. Yeah, again, this this fight is very much could go either way because like it's all down to where these shells go. They can pen the gun and take it out in one hit, but do they hit? Is the question. Also, I think one of those crabs got killed. Yeah, that didn't do much, and the Brockdorf is getting torpedoed. It does that. That's a nice hit. Took it like a good chunk off the deck. Chunk. Now they're both just throwing shit at each other at minimal rates. Oh, there comes two. It's almost like a sucking cell. Which cram on the front is... The middle one's pretty intact, apparently. It keeps on firing. It's doing a pretty good job at it, too. Is that a shell? That is a shell. That is a second shell. Just 
went underneath and didn't do shit. It's trying to be all sneaky apparently. Fuck off, you gotta hit. You gotta hit that turret. Oh, that's engine though, that's also bad. Yeah, there's two out of five cramps that are firing. I'm not even gonna say intact. Just firing. With... Ouch! Well, there's the back turret, the one that's already out. Oh, that one's going for the functional turret, though. Oh, never mind, it's no longer functional. So this fight is not over yet. Come on, there's just one turret and a bunch of torpedoes. Fucking hit that. Oh, nope. Did hit the front compartment though, which. Yeah, yeah. Swing that back turret back into action. Maybe with that snipe skill. Well, that actually hit the right spot too. Just didn't hit hard enough. Yeah, it failed at this. It actually killed the heavy armor or would have gone past the two almost. Lacked the pen. Such a weakness of crap. Because it's definitely not hitting that spot the second time. And in turn, it is getting hit now. Yeah. I think the Nah has. Yeah, killed the last cramp. So this one does go to the Nah, although it's surprisingly close and could definitely go either way depending on hits. Any other testing? Could do something like Brockdorf versus Steinberg. Although the Steinberg is almost double cost, so like, let's, let's be fair. Let's be fair. It is more than double cost, in fact. Okay, so where are we at? We are at the Steinburg. Which... Uh, let's, watch, let's watch the Steinburg, yeah. We know what the Steinburg does anyways. It drills. It borrows. But let's see if the crabs can hit it. I don't know those three, but that's the first set of crabs they cannot hit. Not allowed to hit. Here comes the next set, which goes also on this. Those look a little bit more threatening, although the flag does hit it a bit. We have some hits here and there. This one, for example, cleared this room, whatever the fuck was in here. I think there was like a little bit of ammo here and there. This is the AI, which is safe. This one hit very close to the turret, I guess. Judging by this, it either detonated early or got damaged by the flag. What do we have flying around here? Air pumps and... oh, there even is some rubber. may have been the secondary AI, or the Seawiz AI, I should say. Oh, never mind, the Seawiz is still firing too. We have another hit near a turret. 
but it doesn't penetrate to the turret. It almost killed this secondary gun. There's some flag. That ramshell going in first. That actually may have been deadly. Oh, that killed the secondary gun on this side of the ship. So the Broctors are definitely doing something. They are cooking. But how are they doing in terms of like surviving? Because that's like the interesting part. Surviving the Steinburg. Which they're doing decently, yeah. The AI almost got sniped. Well, that's not actually the AI, is it? Now it's aiming for a turret. There is also some a very minor A point spoofing in the bow and stern, but I don't think that Steinbock cares. Judging by this targeting right now, yeah, it definitely doesn't give a shit. It's just melting into the internals. Oh well, damn, the torps? The torps? <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah, so that this is what Steinbock definitely does. It went all the way through. So definitely the right choice to set targeting to 10 instead of 30 seconds. It itself has lost health too, though. I think that's one turret out. Yeah, two turrets out. And the engine is apparently out too. We are down to three-fifths the firepower. And still cooking with it. Dodging too. That dropped off is not recovering. It will not stand up again. There's like a grand trap show that killed the secondary turret. But at this point, I am not gonna like the other switch target. Like, this man's a cripple. Maybe I should change my target prioritization a bit. This back turret, come on, you can switch back there. What do I have set your angles to be that aggressive? No way, right? Oh, there we go, it swaps. Now, the main issue is that this turret doesn't seem to fire. In fact, it fires into the back of its friend. Stop it! You have fail saves. That's a secondary target gun again. Oh, oh, and there's a secondary target left. Why do we have secondary turrets remaining in this one? Also, these turrets caps and turrets in general are living a lot longer than I would have thought they could. Oh, jinxed it. At least it can't shoot its friend anymore. And well, that has that turret very narrow, I think. <clears throat> now, if it were to like not shoot this anymore because like the firepower is not there, this thing has no guns. That would be cool, but it. It just feels like killing this, I guess. Yeah, my ships also just don't sink because they're made out of alloy and wood, especially up there where the superstructure deck is. So they can't, basically, they cannot sink, even if literally all compartments are breached like this. Like, come on, man, there's a battle. There's a ship right next to you. You got torps on him though. GG's, I guess. Get him with the torps. 
That's gonna work for sure. But the armor holds. Kinda. And the fact that the torpedoes are still alive amazes me, to be honest. That's just that just missed. Straight up. Nice spread of torpedoes coming the fuck in. Now imagine if these had like EMP or something. That would have been base. Again, this is fairly even fight, considering that like this thing's like not good against larger numbers of enemies, and these things are just yeah. But there's two of them, so I guess two of those ships actually do damage. Somewhat. If they hit the right spots, which... Now there's not a lot of the right spots anymore. It becomes less likely. The torpedoes actually are knocking off a block here and there. So could you stop farming that guy for like, all his health? Swapped to like a real target. Oh, rip superstructure. Large chunk thereof as well. I think the Stein will maybe blind. Oh, yeah, it is. Actually, it is blind. Never mind, it has a rage fighter back here. We are cooking. And the wood triangles have been found. How is this thing alive? Holy shit, how is this target kept alive? It killed one. It actually did it. It's not can swap target. Like, kill the actual dangerous one. The fact that that very frontmost turret is firing actually causes it to turn as well. That's kind of hilarious. And... Nope. That didn't kill Torps. But it immediately lost the turret. <coughs> so, like, one of the good-ish things about my ships is they... They live. Even without their guns or anything, they just stay alive. You basically... Well, you can't kill them. You can render them useless quite easily, but... Taking them out entirely, it's... A bit... More difficult. But they will definitely not be taking out themselves. Kind of poking holes here and there. This is oh, that looks like it's going for the tower. Oh, that's a turret cap. We are down to one. Finally, the right spot has been touched. Oh, that thing's kind of rolling though. Can the cramps hold up against this? Because if it goes underwater, the normal things it up. Oh, well, the cramps immediately pop that turret too. Okay. Okay. I see how this is. So the Brockdorfs do actually win. And I gotta look at my target prior because if an enemy has no firepower, why consider why continue shooting it? I gotta tell my shit that. For real, for real. And yeah, the, the Steinbock is almost at below 55%, so we'll just let it play out. There it goes. Two damaged. It did try, at least. It did indeed. Like some slightly better targeting, tar target prior, could have made the difference here, but that's something to be learned from that. Should I be doing any other battle testing? Uh, 
I mean, I guess. So we've had the Steinberg against two Brockdorfs, but one Brockdorf against two Turmfalkes? Let's do a mixed fleet. Let's do Turmfalke and a Z5. Let's see how this goes. The actual mixed fleet action. The amount of decorations over there is just... Like, this is a very interesting side-by-side. -side because it's like fairly similar weapon-wise. We got this 130-13... 130-15, so it's actually got more width to work with. But this is just so much more going on. This is... empty this quite literally we can be spamming though and they actually don't run into one another that's great watch your heads of course this at five is the one that's being made dead stop it Poor old Z has not done anything wrong. I should add an ACP that just jams the rudder to a hard turn once it spots like any incoming crabs. That would be funny. Okay, so the Turm Falcon better make up for this opportunity by winning because the Z is taking the beating for it. It is the bait. Why is it not angling in further? It's supposed to be. Okay. okay. I see how it is. No aim. Torpedoes out. Or is it just like a single torpedo? Why is it launching a singular torpedo? Why is it doing this? Farah, why is your ship not launching more? I mean, it did, so that's good. But why is it not, like, sending? Also, there we go, the Z has its torps out. It may also have its life lost. Yikes. Oh, actually, never mind, that wasn't so bad. Just hit a random bit of ammo scattered around somewhere. Uh, that was bad. Actually, it wasn't. What? I thought that hit a turret, but it didn't. And here comes the swarm. Just torpedo spam, which kind of bonked its underside a little bit, but not that bad. Except there's more. Oh, that's a turret. That is a turret. And a propeller. That one's not gonna be spinning anytime soon. Yeah, also I have no repairs on this on these ships. None of my ships have any repairs. We're allowed repairs. I gotta change that. I just realized that I am putting myself at a disadvantage. Oh here come the torpedoes again. Torp spam hooray! Just torps. And there's just always more torps too. You thought you got it. You got it, but hell no. Nah. Just spam. And that that cram fusing early is so frustrating. I'll swap back to normal AP fuses. Because this shit ain't funny. See, usually these torps have EMP, which makes them kind of retarded in that they hit where the AI is. 
they blow the AI the fuck up. Yeah, so, uh, Farah, your DD is not talking. You, that is something you gotta fix. Because, like, these tops aren't deco, they are definitely mine. Hey, also, that's the, that's the propulsion kind of fucked. And more, yet again. And... That almost killed the top launcher, but it didn't, so... There's more torpedoes to come. Here they are. <laughs> Man, so the Brockdorf actually cannot even fucking fight two DDs. But it can fight the Nordhof 2v1. So, GG's. Winning. That DD is just. We'll head over and visit it, but it, I don't think it is torping anything. Oh, no, wait, 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 never mind, never mind, there's some. I am wrong, it is torpedoing. Please tell me these have guidance. Oh no, they, they look like they do have guidance. They're fine. Because, like, else, how are you hitting this? Without guidance, this ship is narrow as hell. You ain't hitting it even with. It just dodges. Ah, the golden days of Newbie Rumble. I remember the Z5 with one unguided top just randomly sniping something. Should be, I don't think they have to rage, otherwise, I would have feared for them to just clip the Turm Falke. But I doubt they have that range. Yeah, so the Z is just crippled, but kicking. Oh. Ah! Still got a functional top launcher. Fool. <coughs> and where the fuck is that aimed? Did you lose your detection? You did. You lost that turret too. I think this is the last test I'm doing anyhow, so... And yeah, the Tomfuck is staying alive like this, it's definitely, definitely beneficial for the situation. There's a fly in my room. Fuck that. I cannot have anything flying near me. That is like... Unreasonable. What fucking... You still have a propeller running? That shit got a... Yeah, there we go. Now you're just drifting. And... Torpedoes! Together they actually do take the win here. Because the Brockdorf is... Simply just not like that. Oh, that's the top launcher one. But this is the intact one? It is... Actually, the swaps that are alive, or the guns that are alive, are back here, which... Uh, may not be alive for that long anymore. And yeah, yikes. That's some engine, that's some hits on the turret armor. Just like two or three more on that heavy armor back there. They do it. This is getting kind of low. Actually, Brockdorf is just getting low overall, so it might just die. But even at 58%, it is not sinking. It's rolling a bit. But it cannot be sunk. Oh, there we go, below 55. Superstructure kinda got fucked up. And 
Yeah. Friendly fire incident. Friendly fire incident spotted. Pink player. Ban. Report. But yeah, that's GG's. And I think that's the last test I'll do. So, uh, yeah. Been some fun testing for sure. We've seen some things. I'll go fix what I can with my ships. Bye-bye.